If you are an Android smartphone owner, then you might have experienced the downloading do not turn off target issue. This can usually happen to Samsung devices after you reboot the phone when trying to access the recovery mode of the phone by pressing the wrong button combinations. This can also be caused by a software glitch. In this video, we will show you what you need to do to fix this problem. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who has the same issue so that we can help them too. Once you're done, let's begin. Fix 1. Exit the download mode. One of the quickest ways to fix this problem is to exit the download mode. Make sure you're on the screen with downloading do not turn off target. Press and hold the power button plus volume down button. It's important to press them at the same time. Keep them pressed until the screen goes black, then release all buttons. If your device doesn't automatically reboot, press the power button yourself. After you exit the download mode, check if the downloading do not turn off target issue still occurs. <music> Fix 2. Perform a soft reset. Your phone will usually store the most commonly used data to improve its performance. This data, however, can sometimes become corrupted and can cause this problem. If this is what's causing the problem, then you should restart the phone, which should get rid or eliminate any corrupt temporary data. <music> Fix 3. Start the phone in safe mode. It is possible that an app you downloaded from the Google Play Store will cause issues on the phone when it is installed. To check if an app you downloaded is causing the turn off target error message to become visible, you will have to start the phone in safe mode as only the pre-installed apps are allowed to run in this mode. There are two ways to boot to safe mode. The easiest one is to press and hold the power button for a few seconds. Tap and hold the power off option. Once safe mode option appear, tap it. You will know if it's successful if you see safe mode on the lower left. Fix 4. Wipe the cache partition. There's a possibility that this problem is caused by a firmware glitch. To eliminate the possibility that this is what's causing the problem, you will have to wipe the cache partition of the phone from the recovery mode. Here's how. Turn off the phone at press and hold the volume up key and the home key. Then press and hold the power key. When the device logo screen displays, release only the power key. When the Android logo displays, release all keys. Press the volume down key several times key to highlight wipe cache partition. Press the power key to select. Press the volume down button to highlight yes and press the power key to select. When the wipe cache partition is complete, Reboot System Now is highlighted. Press the power key to restart the Samsung Galaxy device. <music> fix Hash 5. Perform a factory reset in case fails to fix the problem. Then the best way to deal with this right now is to perform a factory reset. Take note that this will delete your phone data. Follow the same steps earlier when booting to recovery mode. Press the volume down key several times. Key to highlight wipe data. Factory reset. Press power button to select. Press the volume down key until yes. Delete all user data is highlighted. Press power button to select and start the master reset. Wait until the process is finished. With no apps installed in the phone, try to check if the issue still occurs. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share it to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this to others.